My name is John Oliver, and I would like to talk to you for a few minutes about... Johnny Depp. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, that's just a fedora atop a pile of greasy hair. <laughs> Apparently, actor Johnny Depp, sorry, that's just a trash bag full of scars. <laughs> Half a trillion. Let me put that in context. To lose other people that amount of money, Johnny Depp would have had to star in The Lone Ranger over a hundred times a year for 25 years. That's a horrifying amount. Horrifying. The only thing we're allowed to throw billions at just to fail half the time is this man. Vandalised <laughs> urban outfitters mannequin Johnny Depp. David Beckham. When David Beckham got a tattoo of Jesus, the response of most soccer fans was, oh, that, that's huge for Jesus. That's, that's a big deal for him. Neil Patrick Harris. There's only one person who could pull off being three sex offenders at the same time, and that is Mr. Neil Patrick Harris. I'm not saying he is, I'm saying he has got the performance chops to make you believe it is possible. If he put, it my, if he put his mind to it, he could be the literal triple threat. He's that good. He's that good a performer. Bruce Willis, our planet is ever threatened. We should send Bruce Willis into space. In fact, even if our planet isn't threatened, we should send Bruce Willis into space. That's the plan. Tom Cruise. Putting Tom Cruise's face on an antidepressant ad. That, that would make him furious, and you don't want that. He's OT level 16. He can move objects with his mind. He could do it marrying Tom Cruise. Sure, it seems amazing in your mind. You might even dream about it happening one day. But if it actually does, five years later, the magic will be over, you'll be estranged from your family, and you will have seen things you can never unsee. <laughs> never. <laughs> Tom Cruise marriage proposal. Uh, will you marry me? Yes. Great. Now that you've agreed we'll be together forever, let's discuss how Earth was colonised with alien spirits 75 million years ago by the dictator of the Galactic Confederacy. You said yes. You said yes. New, useful and non-obvious. Incidentally, all the adjectives that Tom Cruise would say he's seeking in an ideal mate. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, uh, for instance, if someone's dying and the only adult is Matthew McConaughey, maybe don't leave the decision to him. Oh, you're bleeding out there, horse. All right, tell you what to do. Let's get some bongo drums and a bit of herbal love and tell that open wound to come together, hombre. <laughs> we got it done. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather is a smidge assaulty. It's, it's technically correct, but it'd be more appropriate to say he's a woman battering human landfill. That would be more on the money. He's, oh, he's a good boxer. He boxes as well, apparently. <laughs> Steven Seagal. <laughs> and I, I would say it's the last place you'd expect to see Steven Seagal, but that wouldn't be true, because that place, of course, is a movie set. Uh, I, I'm just saying, he's the only action star who was literally too expendable for the expendables. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman mid-orgasm. Uh, Ray Romano possessed by the ghost of a duck. <laughs> Russell Crowe's normal singing voice. Nicolas Cage. That's the only... It's been a disaster, Nicolas. It's been a romp, but it's been a disaster. <laughs> Ben Affleck. In America, most of us spent the last three weeks trying to figure out whether we'd just seen Ben Affleck's penis in Gone Girl. And yeah, yes, yes, technically, it could have been a mink. Two-time Oscar winner. Tonight, I wanted to take a moment to say hello to all of you out there to wish you a happy Singles Day. I'm sure there will be loads of deals on candy, too. Check Tmall and maybe you can find yourself a few packs of presidential m and what is that accent? Even Chinese people must be thinking, hold on, isn't he supposed to be from South Carolina? Then why does he sound like Foghorn Leghorn with his jaw wired shut? <laughs> Bill Cosby's memoir, Time Flies. Oh, you know when time really flies? When you lose consciousness for three hours and wake up in Bill Cosby's limo. But that's, that's not the point. That's Al Pacino sitting in a chair, sugared out of his mind on baked goods, saying, say hello to my little Debbie! Say hello! Okay. Women, what do they want? It's, it's a question that's plagued no less an authority than movie star and noted humanitarian Mel Gibson. Uh, not, not to be confused with his far less successful follow-up, why are Jews? <laughs> oh yes, nothing screams Scottish freedom quite like a millionaire Australian anti-Semite on horseback. <laughs> oh, 1993, it was a different time.
when you could plausibly say, hey, be quiet, everybody. Let's all listen to what Mel Gibson has to say. <laughs> the Pope. The only person on earth who can pull off a white cape, Gwyneth. <laughs> He's the only one. You look like a photo negative of Darth Vader. <laughs> James Bond. Daniel Clegg. Let's Whoa! walk out Oh, no. <laughs> I've never seen James Bond look so awkward and sad, and most of his girlfriends have died in front of him. People's Republic of Ellen. You might get a pass from every single government on Earth, but do you, you do not, you do not piss off the People's Republic of Ellen. You don't do it. You don't do that. You don't do it. That's our show. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Good night.